<laughs> That's a beauty right there. It's the new McBath 50. Just got my hands on this. I've fished the 63 a few times. Really like it. Did well this morning when the before the sun came up. Let me get the pliers on this guy. McBeth 50. That's a beauty right there. What's going on everybody? Josh Douglas, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, hanging out here at Bienville. Got myself the brand new Shimano McBeth 50F. This is a full line of McBeth. Uh, crankbaits that are out there the 75 the 63 the 50 F the 50 shallow all the way down to a little 30 size out there but uh catching good ones on this one right here you're talking about your standard crankbait about half ounce size cast like a dream walks through wood better than any other bait that any other crankbait that I've ever used before plastic got a lot of technology into here the bill itself makes it walk I can go as fast as I want I can go as slow as I want really milk this bait if I got a good strike zone but my setup for this is kind of key it's important okay I'm using 15 pound Seeger Invisix fluorocarbon maybe for the bigger ones you might bump up to 17 or 20 uh, all the way down to 12 you know if you're just running rip wrap something like that uh, my rod of choice is going to be a seven footer and this is an IMX Pro this is the 847 C uh, CBR stands for crankbait rod Seven foot's kind of important. Now, if I was offshore, throwing on rock piles, throwing on ledges, I might want you know a seven and a half foot or even an eight foot or something to cast far. But with this, you're talking about a lot of target. I'm trying to hit. It was right behind me there, off that little bush is what I was throwing to. That fish came out and, and absolutely ate it. So accuracy is key. So I like that seven power. At the same time, this is a heavier action rod, great for throwing heavier line and, and bigger square bills like this. But at the same time, it's real parabolic it's that CBR it's meant to not only be able to load up the fish but at the same time catch them now I use a lot of NRX plus I promote a lot of NRX plus but at the same time that's a lot for dragging stuff when I need to feel bites what I don't want to do is always feel that bite so I want a little bit dense down graphite like what you're gonna get with this a little bit more of a glassy option and when that fish comes from behind and they blow that vortex out I don't feel that I just feel once they take it and eat it uh, my reel is a Shimano Cronark MG GL. There's lots of them in the Shimano line that you can use. I really love the MGL spool. It helps cast things in the wind like this. And again, 15 pound floral carbon, cast like a dream. Gets the bites. The crankbait gets the bites. The rod gets them in the boat. Check them out. <laughs> 